Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and today we're going to be starting up a new game of Hearts of Iron 4. Now, in my previous series of Hearts of Iron 4, we played as Japan, a major nation, large army, large navy, and, you know, formed our own faction and did a lot of things and eventually, you know, conquered the world. Now, what I wanted to do with this new series, we're going to be starting up here, is play as a minor nation. Um, and also play with a lot of mods. Um, so I installed a whole bunch of mods that looked interesting. Um, a lot of like uh, UI improvements, some you know, cosmetic things, and also a major overhaul for the particular nation that we're going to be playing. So let's go ahead and start up a new game. 1936, select the scenario, select the country, and what we're going to be playing as this time around is the nation of Greece. The kingdom of Greece. Again, we're going to keep it on regular. We're not going to do Iron Man because of potential technical problems. Uh, don't want to lose, you know, don't want to lose chunks of the game. And we are not going historical AI focuses. So let's go ahead and start the game up and see what we've got. Okay, so here we are. Now, one of the things that immediately I can show that is very different is if we go on national focuses Greece here has a very large very extensive detailed national focus tree uh, that is from the the Greek overhaul mod that I installed so that is nice Alright, so the first thing I want to do is get my army together and let's see what we've got to work with. Uh, let's just get all the military units gathered together. And let's just order them to deploy here. It's like we've got some mountain infantry, we've got some regular infantry, and we've got a little bit of cavalry. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and just assign everybody here to a field marshal. And I'm going to make this guy... Well, oh, white in color. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's set up some research. Now, one of the other mods I did installed is a flavor mod to actually give proper names to the infantry equipment. So, now this is our correct historical names for the various equipment that was used by Greece. Uh, first thing we probably want to do is go ahead and get support weapons. Uh, we want to make sure we get our industry working, so we're going to take basic machine tools and we're going to go with electronic mechanical engineering. Alright, we've got free civilian factories. So usually what I like to do, start right off the bat with the civilian factories, is build more civilian factories. How many civilian factories do we have? We have ten. So we only have five for use. Okay, so we have free military factories. What are we currently making? Infantry equipment and support equipment. Okay. Do we have any planes? Transports. Now that's one thing I didn't really use in the previous series. Let's go ahead and, and queue up some transports. Uh, let's see, what about ships? Okay, so we have some basic ships. We want convoys. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do inventory equipment, support equipment. Actually, let's do... Let's do that. I need to look at my templates. What do our templates look like? Okay, so we have an infantry template. 
which is just infantry. We have... That is a pretty big division right there. For mountain troops. So those mountain infantry are probably our strongest divisions right now. And a pretty lightweight cavalry division with some recon on it. Okay. Alright, and we actually have enough infantry equipment for everybody. Alright, anything else we need to do? We need to pick a national focus. What do we want to go with? Uh, what do we have? We have a modernization effort, uh, research bonus for industry, we have improved construction, research bonus for construction technology, 4th of August, political power plus 200, ooh. Hellenic Armada, uh, naval stuff, national diplomacy, national unity. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So let's, I'll look at this a little bit. So we have the option, support the allies. If we become a democracy, so we can align with the allies, get some forts, denounce the Axis, denounce the common turn. Uh, we could support the Axis if we become fascist and come down this tree. The Iron Pact, the Aegean Shield, denounce. We can support the common turn. Again, similar events. The Crimson Pact. Defend the South. Denounce the Capitalists. Denounce the Fascists. Or, we go the Lone Way. So go off on our own, do our own thing. Gives us more political power. Um, we have the option of befriending Italy, or say roads or war. Let's see. In fact, becomes owner controller of biggest events, roads or war. Okay. And befriend the British, or we could do Cyprus or war. So we can either befriend the British or go to war with them. Uh, befriend Turkey or demand Eastern Thrace and Imperial Ambitions to so influence Albania. Friend Albania, Northern Epirus or war. Okay, so the Balkan Axis. At peace, Albania's at peace is not a puppet. It's alliance with Greece. Okay, so we kind of create our own little, own little faction there. I'm thinking. Let's see, what's this? National critical population. The way to fascism. Third Hellenic civilization. See. Daily fascism support, democracy support. For king and country. National unity, core territory. Can create factions. Hellas above all can create factions. Okay, so if we want to make a faction, we need to get either one of these. Mass conscription. So this is all our manpower stuff. Okay. So this is a very important line. Well, a lot of this is going to be pretty important. Okay, so... I say we take 4th of August. Get that started. And so that we can get some political power so we can start drifting in one direction or another. And it looks like actually in this national focus tree, um, there isn't a distinction in terms of the bonuses you get. 
between fascism and communism and democracy. And just as who you could then support, which faction you can join, that sort of thing. You know, we don't even need to actually shift our... Well, if we go down here, we want to create our own faction, we have to either go... Um, fascist or another way. Okay. Alright, so let's just go ahead and unpause it. Let's get things ticking here. I'm going to kind of keep it slow at the start. Oh, let's turn that day-night cycle off. I mean, it's kind of cool and all, but it, it as we get up to higher speeds, it just gets annoying. Okay, oh, one other thing we need to do, which we're not doing at the moment, is recruiting some more units. And I'm saying we're just going to go ahead and train... A bunch of infantry. Now, supposedly, there's a way. To assign directly to an army. Oh, that's... No, Alright. Now, what I'm going to want to do... Is these guys need some training. So once everybody's up here, I'm going to start training them. Well, actually, these guys are all trained already. So I'm actually going to separate them off, make them a new army, uh, give them, let's see, Hill Fighter Hills, Hill Fighter, Trickster, Hill Fighter. All right, let's go with you. And let's put you guys on the Albanian border. You guys start... Ah, start exercising. Get trained up. And get me some army experience. Alright, now what I wanted to do is kind of make this uh, this game a little bit, uh, I guess, interactive, you could say. Uh, let's see. Do I actually have any Air Force out there? Uh, I got myself distracted. We're already short on oil and rubber. Uh, speaking of oil and rubber, can I build synthetic plants? No, I'm going to have to research that. Okay. Alright, as I was saying, I was thinking of trying to make this a little bit kind of more interactive with the audience. Now, as, so what I wanted to do is, I haven't made a decision as to whether or not we're going to go de democratic, fascist, or communist. Because um, right now we are currently not aligned, but we do have a significant fascist party. We have a slightly smaller Democratic Party, and we have a very small but present Communist Party. So, that is going to kind of govern which faction we can join, or whether or not we're going to go on our own, or we're going to create our own faction. So these are kind of the scenarios that we can pursue, is we can go Democratic, and join the allies and gonna see how that goes fight the axis it's be interesting because we'll be fighting Italy most likely we could go fascist and join the axis and fight with the Italians and probably against the Soviets and the allies of course we could also Go communist, join the common turn, and fight the axis as well. Or we could go our own way, form our own faction. I'm um, go either go either democratic, fascist, or communist. Um, 
and form our own faction. Now, Democratic, I think the rules of the game might be somewhat difficult because it limits who you can go to war with and when, unless some of these national focuses give me actual war goals, which I haven't really looked that detailed in it. We'll be looking like through this stuff. Because uh, it looks like we, we can get war goals with Italy, with, uh, with British, and with Turkey through national focuses. Now, fascism, again, allows us to pretty much declare on whoever we want, whenever we want. And, or we could go communist and try and form our own uh, communist bloc. Um, so we'll have to see. The other then decision we need to make, uh, we're going to proceed with this, is do we want to form a faction and, you know, gather allies and, you know, form, you know, well, a faction? Or do we want to stay on our own and go for a world conquest playthrough where we try and basically paint the entire map our color and just forget allies uh, and all that sort of thing and just go for it and take everything ourselves. There is another option. So what I'd like to do is uh, get your feedback and let me know what you would be interested in doing. Alright. So let's just kind of get things ticking, because right now there's not a lot to do at the moment. Uh, I need to get research on some planes, because we don't apparently have... No. We have no air units, no planes, nothing. I also need factories. So taking those industrial foci are going to be very important. Oh, we do have a small fleet. See, one heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, and eight destroyers. It's something, and six submarines. Okay. And one other thing that I did install a mod for was for some better maps. So, there's like the strategic air map, which, you know, it alters the way the air zones are displayed to make them more distinct. And as we progress and we see areas that are, you know, covered by aircraft and areas that are being contested and things like that, should be a little bit more easier to identify. Also, C should be a little bit easier to see as well. Also, I think we did some changes to the look and feel of battle plans, and we'll see how that plays out. Um, I'm just trying to remember everything that I put in here. Oh, now we've got nine. Oh, because we're getting from trade. Ooh, what do we actually produce? That's not something I haven't actually looked at. What are our supplies? Or not supplies, uh, resources. Uh, we got some steel. We have some chromium. A little bit of steel. We got some aluminum. We got some tungsten. Some tungsten. Lots of aluminum. So we probably are actually exporting some of that aluminum, since we're not really using any of it right now. Out of 58 aluminum, we have 26 left for export. 8 out of 8 to China, to Finland, Argentina, to Poland. Okay, so yeah, we're exporting a lot of aluminum. We're not exporting any chromium. Uh, Brazil is buying some of our steel. Romania is buying some of our tungsten. Okay, so that's actually helping out quite a bit. Now we are going to get more civilian factories and more military factories and more shipyards and everything from Foci. So... 
That's good. All right. Anybody done training yet? No. Equipment. Imagery equipment. Oh, we are short a ton of infantry equipment. We're getting none of this. Oh, because oh, these guys are short infantry equipment. Like, quite a bit. Do you know what? Get the infantry equipment here first. Well, these guys are going to kind of bleed equipment while we're doing that, but I need more divisions in the field more than anything else right now. Oh, Remilitization of the Rhineland. We got 4th of August. So that gave us a big pile of political power. So you select a new... So this is for manpower. Not really worried about manpower right now. Hellenic Armada. Do we go with national diplomacy? No, I don't really need this until we've decided on what ideology we're going to follow and what faction we're going to join, if any. So, what we're going to go with uh, is National Railway Infrastructure building slots computing technology develop Thrace building slots and Western Thrace hmm. research this would be one two three to get to the research slot But I need this stuff. Hmm, what's more important? The industry or the research slot? It's going to be, what, uh, 70, 140 days. 230 days. So it won't be until next year before we can start getting a lot of this. You know what? Let's go for that research slot. All right, we can go ahead and modify the government, and we need to take a communist revolutionary, a fascist demagogue, or a democratic reformer, or somebody else. So we need to make that decision as to whether or not we, which decision of which ideology we're going to follow, is what I'm actually meaning to say. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut this episode a little bit short than what I normally do. Because I'd like to get some response back in the comments to see what your guys are thinking and what you want to see as far as, you know, faction, ideology, um, that sort of thing. Alright, so, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and give me your comments, and I will see you next time.